And uh, it's great to be joined in the studio by Jonathan Nunn from West Northamptonshire Council. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Chris. How good are you morning. Doing? How are you doing? Very good, thanks. Very good indeed. You? So, one of the reasons we wanted you to come in is, is kind of to show the, the human face of the council and to give everybody the chance to uh, kind of feel that you're contactable, you're accessible, that yep. they can yep. kind of come and, and talk about the things that are on their mind, the things that are bothering them, the issues that are important to them. So yep. if you do have something that you'd like to, to put to Jonathan, then you can get in touch with us in the studio this morning. The phone number is 01604 800 961, and you can also text or WhatsApp us on 07852 961 961. That's 07852 961 961. And we did put something up earlier this morning on social media to say that you were coming in, and we've, we've had a, a couple of of comments Great. and questions come Great. in already. Um, and I think one of the things that people are interested in at the moment is the the redevelopment of the Market Square, because that is big news through today. Obviously, the, the market has just opened over on Commercial Street this yep. morning. Yep. Uh, the traders are busy getting set up there this morning. Yes. Yes. Um, what do you feel the general mood is like at the moment in Northampton about that? Are, are people getting quite excited about it? I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. Um, you know, for years and years and years, people have said we've got a wonderful market square. It's two acres. It's one of the biggest in Europe. Uh, and it doesn't look its best. And I, and I completely agree. Completely agree. And um, for years and years, council, successive councils, long before my time, wanted to do something about that. Uh, we were really fortunate this thing called the Future High Streets Fund came along and we applied and they accepted and, and gave us the money. And, and of course, obviously, then you, 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 some people go through the be careful what you wish for phase because we think, oh, this is going to mean that we're going to have to you know, effectively close the square for a while. It's a big so job. there was, I mean, obviously, the, the market yeah. traders were, were worried about what impact yeah. that would have on their business. Was there any way that you could have done it around them and kind of move them around the square as you were doing the work? No, not not that not that I understand. So there were there were probably two aspects to, to that. One, you know, is a safety concern. It is quite a big job, um, major sort of construction site, uh, and I, I was just assured that there would have been a safety risk to that, but also a cost risk as well. Um, it would have taken a lot lot longer, and there would have been an additional cost to to um, uh, to, to do it. And as it is, the cost has gone up. I mean, we originally granted eight point four million pounds by the government but anybody who's had any building work done will know that the cost of building has gone up the cost of materials and so on it's the same with the market square and we've been faced with a choice of uh, whether we downgrade it uh, which we absolutely didn't want to do and, and we haven't done or try and find a bit more money so it's it's been a bit of a, a job to try and do it so the thought of paying more to t and take longer to keep people on there it, it, it bowl accounts was impossible as, as indeed were other locations you know a lot of people say to me did you think about putting the traders here or there? We thought about everywhere, absolutely mm. everywhere. Um, one of the issues, of course, Abingdon Street, we, we have got the money to refurbish that too. So we didn't want to put them on Abingdon Street. It, it's not really um, you know, wide enough to allow the deliveries that come in as well. There isn't this, you have to put services in for them, electric and water. Mm. That's not, those are things aren't there at the moment. So there was no point in putting those in and then digging it up and then risking that we had to send the money back to the government for the repair of Abingdon Street or the refurbishment. So mm. so Commercial Street is the place. Let's hope that they do okay down and there. And to be fair, it's not that far away. And you've, yeah, you've incentivized not. shoppers to come there with this free parking initiative yeah. at the moment. That's it. For, for, the, for the first month there, we're going to give that a go. Uh, obviously, a lot of people are talking about parking uh, at the moment. We've got new system in down there at Commercial Street. Um, we've been uh, concerned that for some time now really been quite limited to cash payments and so on so we've modernized that you can register uh, i think the ones down at commercial street recognize your number plate but as part of also doing that it allows us to trial something which is if you spend five pounds or more on one of the market stalls then an hour's parking is is free and so let's hope that's a good that's a good incentive to get people started down there as well yeah so um i think a lot of people are interested to know what we're going to get at the end of all of this yep. like how 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 much better is it going to be in the market square after these improvements yeah i hope a, i hope a great deal um to sort of describe some of the features you might remember we did quite a lot of consultation around what people wanted to see uh, one of it was a, cha a change of materials. At the moment, you've got the sort of red block pavers down there uh, on the market square, and um, they're probably of a certain era. Um, you know, may look more appropriate on a driveway, but for now, I don't think we think they're the right thing uh, for a big public open space and market. And they have a sort of faded drab, drab look, in my opinion. So the surfacing, uh, you've, you've got that. And then the consultation said that people wanted to see more trees, for example. Um, 
it's nice when there are trees in town centres. There are some spots where there are a few trees. People want to see quite a lot more, so there will be more trees in there. You have to be careful on the species so they don't get out of control and lift the paving and so on. So I think that's been carefully considered. Uh, people also wanted n nice areas to be able to come and sit. So you should see in the top corner a sort of stepped area that... Mm takes advantage of the slope which i think will just be a nice place to, to to turn up on a sunny day sit and eat your sandwiches and chat with a friend or something like that yeah and a big part also was event space people were reluctant to lose any sort of event space there's all sorts of things going on in the market square now we've got the music festival yeah. coming up later in the year and then when you think back to diwali christmas lights switch on people love these big events so there'll certainly be a huge a huge space for events as well on oh, a water feature as well not the old type of fountain apparently that was tricky although people people remember uh, with some fondness, those who are aware of it, the old fountain on, mm. on, on Northampton. The modern way is to do something a little bit, uh, a little bit different, so it'll be more of a sort of water feature making its way down the slope of the market. But these are the kind of things. That hopefully, will be a lot more vibrant mm. I, I, and probably easier favorite. to keep clean as well. Because I think the problem sometimes with fountains is that the dirt and the rubbish all yeah. kind of congregates in the fountain, and yeah. you just end up with crisp yeah. packets floating around in it. It just looks really horrible. I think that's right. And do you know, I think that's something that as a general guide perhaps councils don't do well is they might build something and they don't always take the full care to maintain it uh, that's been an important consideration we have to be absolutely certain that we can keep it up to the best standard as well yeah